So two years ago, I made a video called Strap Locks versus Strap Blocks. And if you say that two times fast or three times fast, it's kind of a tongue twister. Uh, but in that video, which you can watch right here, I found that the Strap Blocks beat out the Strap Locks that I was using. But since then, I found a Strap Lock system that beats out both. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. But first. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about the Dunlop strap locks. That's locks without a C because they don't know how to spell over at Dunlop apparently. Several bad puns later. So today we're going to be talking about the Dunlop strap lock system, which I find to be the most secure strap lock system out there. If you look at the design, the Dunlop system inserts a metal rod into a hole in the strap button. The strap button has a lip on there where the rod has four balls that tightly secure the system in place. I kind of like to think of it as like a trailer hitch system where you put the metal rod to secure the hitch in and you have this little tiny, really thin metal um, like eye hook that secures the rod in place and you're like, how is that going to help the trailer hitch from falling out? And then you realize it only pulls out the, the rod this way, not this way that the trailer is being pulled on. So it works uh, when you think about it. Uh, same works with the strap lock system. The rod's what really holds the strap in place. The balls are there just for security. Now let's compare that to the strap lock system that I was using last time. The strap lock system that I was using last time has a U kind of uh, channel lock. Now what I like about this design better than the, uh, the U-shaped channel locks is that there's no wrong or right way to install these things. It's a metal rod into a hole. It's a circle into a bigger circle. There's no up is up, down is down. It's just whatever way it goes is the way it goes. Whereas the U-shaped ones, uh, I found that if they get loose, they tend to go from straight up U like this to more of a sideways U. And if you put them on backwards, it's an upside down U. And now you're being held on by that metal ball and not actually the U-shape uh, channel that it's supposed to be designed to hold on to. With these systems, which I'll show you right here, I have never, Maybe I'll put a picture of this bed. But I've never had to ratchet it down because there's no nut that gets loose. This is a pain in the butt to install. Once you get these things on, you don't have to worry about tightening it. You don't have to worry about it coming loose. Uh, you don't have to worry about it coming undone. Um, go check out my video here of how to install these bad boys because it took me forever. But once you do uh, have them installed, they're not going anywhere. They're 10 times more secure than the U-shaped locks. So let's look at these strap locks compared to the strap locks that I reviewed last time. Now, uh, first things first, strap locks are gonna be a little bit more expensive. They're still under like 15 bucks US price, so it's not gonna break the bank here, but the strap locks are significantly cheaper. I, think I found them for like $3. Uh, so if price is the ultimate uh, decision for you, strap locks are cheaper. But with that said, the strap locks, um, one thing that I had heard in the comments and also something that I realized after I made the video is that when you put the strap locks into a hard case, um, they don't fit. <laughs> like if you put your guitar into the hard case with the strap locks and the strap on, it's not gonna work. And then you have to take the strap locks and the strap off to get your guitar in a hard case. With that said, these strap locks, all you have to do is pop them off with just a little Press the button, they come right off. And now your guitar is ready to go in its case. So price wise, strap locks are a little bit cheaper, but oh, I feel secure. Here, hear this, hear this. Ah, that's secure right there. Price wise, yes, strap locks are a little bit cheaper, but uh, strap locks, a little bit more convenient if you use hard cases a lot. They're both just as equally secure, I found. So in conclusion, I have found that the Dunlop strap lock system is far superior than the Fender U-shaped channel strap lock system, both in installation and security. Um, also found that the Dunlop strap locks are just as secure as strap locks, but uh, the strap locks are a little bit more functionally uh, 
easier to use than the strap block system. So if you're using a case often, or if you wanna remove your strap or change straps often, the strap locks are the way to go. There you go. There's an overview of the Dunlop strap lock system, the most secure system that I've found to date. If you know of any other systems that are more secure, let me know in the comment section below. I'm curious as to what you use to secure your strap to your guitar. If you're interested in picking up a pair of strap locks or strap locks, there are affiliate links listed in the description box below. Uh, they really help the channel out. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you never wanna miss another video like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, let the music play basically holds the the button like in a cozy little blanket if you will you know so it doesn't go this way it doesn't go this way so it tightly secures it in place but there's this little half washer I don't know exactly what it's called